Welcome back. So two books ago, I mentioned that in our family, we lost somebody really special that we loved. And so I read two books kind of about um, the sadness we feel when we lose somebody. But today's book is more about the joy we can feel because for those of us who have accepted Jesus into our hearts, we get to go to heaven and we get to see the people who have passed on again. So when I was a kid, I was really afraid of heaven and dying. And it wasn't until the last 10 years or so that I am no longer afraid. And so for me, my dad is no longer here. And the person who we lost was my mother-in-law. But I know one day I am going to get to see them in heaven for this awesome, super, fantastic forever party. So here we go with a new book. The Awesome, Super Fantastic Forever Party. This is a true story about heaven, Jesus, and the best invitation of all. Written by Joni Erickson Tada, Illustrated by Catalina Echeverry. Oh boy, I'm sure I got those wrong. All right. Have you ever received an invitation to a birthday party, to watch a football game, to a big wedding? The best invitations are to unforgettable events with amazing people. Jesus loved giving invitations, and his most wonderful invitation of all was this. Everyone who believes in me as their king and rescuer will have life with me forever. He was inviting people to heaven. But, hmm, isn't heaven a place where I will just live on a cloud? Wear a funny white robe and play a harp? It sounds a bit not exciting. Yawn. But then, some people say heaven is a place where I could dive with dolphins. Ride the biggest water slide in all the universe and eat all the chocolate chip pancakes I want. That would be great for a few years, but then what? Do I really want to eat chocolate chip pancakes all day and end up with a stomach ache forever? Jesus talked a lot about life after this life. But he never once mentioned people sitting on clouds or eating pancakes. The things he talked about were much more amazing things. So what's the truth about heaven? First, Jesus said that one day heaven will be here. When Jesus comes back to this world, he will bring heaven with him. Heaven and earth will join together. Which means that the world will be perfect. What's your favorite place in the world? In the new earth, it'll be even better. Nothing will get broken or go wrong. You'll get to do amazing things. You might take care of exotic animals, climb to the top of snowy mountains, meet all the stars that Jesus made. And in this perfect heaven on earth, you will be perfect too. Jesus will give you a new heart. That means no more sin. You won't want to steal cookies, be mean to your friend, or pretend you've brushed your teeth when you really haven't. Everyone else will have a new heart too. There will be no arguing or hurting, only peace and friendship. Life will be like standing under a waterfall of happiness. And Jesus will give you a new body. It will be shining and splendorous and you'll run faster and be stronger than you thought possible. Blind people will see, lame people will dance, deaf people will hear, and people whose minds sometimes struggle will enjoy minds that work just right all the time. And on this new earth, with our new hearts and new bodies, we'll get to live in a new city the New Jerusalem, a sparkling city where Jesus has prepared a home just for you. Wow, 
and we haven't even got to the best thing about the place we're invited to. The best thing will be Jesus. Jesus is the all-time undisputed Lord and champion. He will rule with kindness and wisdom, and everyone will bow down and half happily shout, Jesus deserves to rule as king. Jesus is the only one who has paid for our sins by dying on the cross. He is the only one who has left death for dead by rising back to life. He is the only one who can invite us to this amazing party. Wow. So everyone in the New Jerusalem will pile praise after praise on Jesus. We will thank him for rescuing us and for giving us the joy of being at his awesome, super fantastic forever party. Trees will clap their hands in praise to Jesus. Grain in the fields will wave in delight. Mountains will shout and stars will sing along with us in worship. Everyone and everything will be brimming over with joy for the Lord Jesus. But hang on. The problem with parties is that they finish. The fun has to stop. But not this one. This party goes on forever. There'll always be a tomorrow, and every tomorrow will be better than every yesterday. Each day, we'll get to enjoy new things, see new places, meet new people, and learn amazing new truths about God. The best invitations are to unforgettable events with amazing people, and this is the greatest invitation of all. Now, when you get an invitation, you have to reply to say whether you're coming or not. How do you say yes to Jesus' invitation? By telling him that you want him to be your king and rescuer. Then you can know that your name is on his eternal party list called the Book of Life. And then you can invite your friends and family to be there with Jesus too. Everyone is invited. When the very last person on Jesus' list replies and says yes to him, that's when Jesus will show up. Suddenly, here with all his friends who have been waiting with him in heaven after their lives in the world ended. And then everything will change, and all Jesus' friends will be together, and the eternal party will start. And so there's one more thing we can do as we look forward to having new hearts and new bodies in the new heaven on earth with Jesus forever. We can send our own invitation to Jesus. It's an invitation that is on the last page of the last chapter of the last book of the Bible, Revelation. It's there three times. It must be important. So let's say it together. Please come quickly, Jesus. The end.